Hey everyone, happy hump day. Uh, I intended on doing this unboxing on Monday and that didn't happen apparently. So I'm super excited to share with you a decent amount of boxes that I've received over the past few days. Um, a lot of them are cosmetics related. There's one great food box that I received that I think um, I'm gonna continuously purchase these kind bars. They're great. I'll show you later. But I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, if you're there, please say hi. We are going to start. Let's see. I don't even know where to start because there are so many. So I guess we'll start with the kind bars. So kind was kind enough to send me a box for Mother's Day. And it was these dark chocolate strawberry it's pressed fruit as well as um, these protein bars that have 12 grams of protein, they were peanut butter. But then they also sent me a super cute little drawstring backpack and a facial mask and little lip balm for Mother's Day so I could pamper myself. Uh, these strawberry bars are delicious, especially if you like dark chocolate. Oops, they're such a great treat to have, so I highly recommend these. I'll leave a link to um, Amazon in the comments so that you can order them if you'd like. Let's see, what are we gonna start with? So let's start with something that I've already have open. Hold on one second. So, in a SoFlo Moms on the Go episode, probably two or three weeks ago, we talked about some beauty products that um, we've been digging these past few months or so. And one of them was gel moments. So it's, I don't know about you, but I know every time I get a gel manicure, um, if it chips or it's past the two weeks that it usually lasts, I get really frustrated and I start peeling it off, which is so bad for your nails. And then I end up peeling it entirely off and it destroys my nails. So I was introduced to Gel Moments by Alicia, which I do, I will connect you to her in the comments below. But this is the kit that you could purchase. Um, she was kind enough to gift it to me. So it's called Gel Moment, and we talked about it on the SoFlo show, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but it's basically a gel manicure set that you can take off at home on your own, and it doesn't destroy your nails. So I'm very excited about that. Um, the beginner kit, which is what I have here, is upside down. Hold on. I'm going to show you all of the goodies. It comes with, I think you guys, if you remember, I was like super excited about this super cute little mini LED light that you could put two fingers under and dry at the same time. It comes with a moisturizing nail oil, which is important, especially when you're doing um, gel. Sorry, it's so fuzzy. Let me turn the light. It's annoying. There we go. Um, especially when you're doing gel, I have heard that it kind of not suffocates your nails, but it's not the best for your nails. So it's definitely important to moisturize and um nourish your nails. The color that she gave me, I'm super excited. It's called Echoes of Paris, which by the way, Paris was my most favorite place that I visited. Um, of course, aside from Italy, my honeymoon. So I'm super excited to try this. And then there's the little removers. Oh my gosh, the glare is terrible. Let's see if I can fix this. Here. Hold on. And turn it the right way. So you have the gel removers. And the cleansers, because you're supposed to clean your nails before you actually put the gel on. And then the super cute little kit of the supplies that you're going to need. And it tells you how to apply them and how to remove. So that's great, because I definitely need instructions, especially because it's going to be my first time using these. So I will be posting about these later on. It's super cute. She also added in some extra little goodies. These little remover clips, which I think are heaven sent, because... I can't tell you how many times I've like tried to do the aluminum foil with the little cotton ball and the um, nail polish remover myself and they don't stay on. So this is super helpful. So I will put this, to, oh, and she also, she, wow, I also have my little toe separators that's shaped like a little foot, which is so cute. Hey, Claudia. And then also um, two professional nail files. So I'll tell you how this works out because if I could be able to do a gel manicure at my house and be able to take it off on my own, this is going to be a good thing. Okay. So that was number one. I also had asked you guys on my Instagram stories if I should have kept a specific um, straw tote bag that I received from Zara. And um, 
there was almost unanimous was to uh, let it go, which I agree because it was a weird, it was beautiful, it was round, but it was kind of like a weird size. So I just got this bag from Target, and although it is huge, it is awesome. I think I'm a little bit obsessed with it because it is gorgeous. Straw totes are so in now, and it has the colorful little pom-poms here, and I love the woven handle. And the inside is completely lined, which is super nice. It has interior pockets. So this is great if you need to throw a bunch of stuff in the bag and go, you're going out somewhere with the kids or the family. And I got this on sale for $24 at Target. So I really think you guys need to get one. Um, they have a lot of great straw bags actually at Target. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, next up. Every month I purchase on my own the Macy's Beauty Box. If you guys don't already know, my sister works at Macy's and I get this box. My excuse is I get it to support her, but I do love the box also. So it's very similar to um, Birchbox or Ipsy. Actually, more so like Ipsy because every month it comes in a different cute little cosmetic bag. So this month it came in this rose gold long clutch, which is kind of nice. I think I might use this for my pens and stuff in my work bag. So, opening it up here. If I can move the camera down a little bit. Not really. See what we the only thing that I am not 100% happy about this is there's no really full-size products per se. Not that I would get many full-size products from Ipsy, but I got more so from Ipsy than from the Macy's Beauty Box. But what's nice about Macy's Beauty Box is it's $15 for the box per month, but then you get a $5 off coupon to go, and you can put it towards any of your cosmetic purchases at Macy's, online, or in the store. And what's also good is usually when they have discounts, they never, Macy's, they never discount cosmetics. So this is like one of the only discounts that you'll see on the cosmetics. So let's see. First, Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, it's a rose perfume. Let's see what it smells like. I don't really wear perfume, but, uh-oh, oh, whoops, oh, ooh, this is actually really nice, it, it's kind of musky with vanilla, I sound like what I know what I'm talking about, right, but this smells really nice, I don't really wear perfume because I'm scared the bugs are going to eat me, I'm like a mosquito magnet as it is, but maybe an off season, this is actually a really pretty scent, then from Tarte, which is one of my favorite brands, what is this? Oh, a waterproof bronzer. I didn't even know that existed. So this is Tarte's waterproof bronzer. Definitely have to check that out. And this little guy is super cute. It's called Nudes Nudies All Over Face Color. Highlight and glow for lips, eyes, and cheeks. Oh, so I don't know if you could see it well because my camera kind of stinks. I have to change that. But it's, um, it has a shimmer to it, which is really nice. No, I really like this perfume. It smells really good. Okay. Ah, so It Cosmetics, which is another one of my favorite brands. I use their pore erasing um, blush, and I also swear by their um, Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. It's amazing. So this is a brow, it's called Brow Power. It's a universal brow pencil. Your eyebrows frame your face, so it's important that you take good care of them and you make them look great. So we'll have to check this out. And then, okay, so these I never understand. Oh, it is the Derma Blend. I don't really use foundation. I don't know if anyone out there uses foundation. Um, so this is highly concentrated pearls with weight lip radiance. Um, it's a highlighter. So that should be interesting. I'll try it. Always try it once, and then if you don't like it, you know. And then, I always love trying, oh my gosh, they came out with another one. So Benefit, always, I've used um, their Real Mascara, as well as, um, there's another one that's like pink and black that I love. But now here's another one called Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So I'll have to check this out. 90% saw dramatic volume. Actually, that's what I've been looking for because I use Rodan and Fields uh, Lash Boost. So my eyelashes have been getting longer, but not um, there's not that much volume. So I'll have to check that out. 
So I got all those goodies in my Macy's Beauty box. And if you're interested in it, I will um, leave a link in the comments after I'm done with the video. I'm making a big mess here, but whatever. Let's clean it up anyway. Okay, so then the next one, so Color Science, I always get little gifts from them. Um, I was first introduced to them when they sent me a package. It was a powder, it's a mineral powder, but it's sunscreen. And it comes in this really cute tube that has a brush at the end. It almost looks like a blush brush. So you literally just powder it on and you can put it on your arms, your face, your neck, your ears. It's very easy to apply. And it was SPF 50 and it's sunscreen. It doesn't look like a powder when you put it on. You don't look like cakey or anything like that. So I really liked it. Um, and they package their boxes really well. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time here. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Ah, a box in a box. I got a box. Oh, okay. So here is the box. Let's see what we have inside. Dana, we've included a Pure Vita bracelet. They donate 10% of net profits to Oceanic Preservation. Love, Julie. Aww. And actually, I am very familiar with Pure Vita, and this is a beautiful bracelet. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, so here they have a Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. Protects from UVA and UVB, which you really should make sure any of your sunscreens have both protection for UVA and UVB as well as, um, oh good, no white residue, hydrating, antioxidant, SPF 50. So let's see what this looks like. I feel like I'm doing surgery here. Super cute. And I'm always cautious about what I put on my face, especially when it comes to sunscreen, because I don't want to clog my pores. I want to protect my face from the sun, but at the same time not break out, so. This is a great brand if you're looking for it. They also sent me the Sun Forgettable Age Defense Mineral Shield, which I think this might be, is it? This super cute little brush I was talking about. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Upside down, whoops. Okay, and you open it up, and in here, which I don't know if you can see, but there's the mineral sunscreen, and you pop it up, and you just have to bang it a few times on your wrist, and take the little rubber band off, but mineral sunscreen. I think it's such a great product. And this one is small, so you could throw this in your bag. So I, I have one in each of my glove compartments in my car, and then I always have one in my bag. You could never put on too much sunscreen, just so that you know. Um, like they said, looks like nothing, protects from everything. So super important sunscreen. I mean, something that we can prevent, so we really should. So okay, next is from Pixie. I did get a lot of beauty stuff. I love beauty stuff. So this is Pixie Beauty, and it's Pixie by Petra. And I believe if you've gone to Target um, and passed gone through their cosmetics department, this is sold in almost every Target. They do the best marketing. It's unbelievable. So I'm gonna open the box. So looking like you, only better in no time. That's Pixie. So let's see what we have. So it's Skin Rescue Essentials. Restore, revive, and reveal your radiance. Oh my gosh. Look at all of this fun. So here's their Jasmine Oil Blend. What is this for? Skin recover from the loss of moisture and dullness. And you know, my skin's been so dry lately. I love to use an oil, especially at night. So this will be a fun one to try. This is, oh, here's an overnight glow serum. So this might be the answer. I wonder if I can um, layer that. We'll have to check it out. This is 10% glycolic acid and aloe vera. So you do this in the evening. This is like terrible, this color. The glare, let me turn this off. How do we do that? No, not really. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. Then there's the Glow O2 oxygen mask with probiotic and caffeine. I've always heard that caffeine is good for your skin. Maybe not for your stomach sometimes, but it's good for your skin. Ooh, immediate anti-fatigue event effect. I might need to do that like now. It's been a crazy day already. 
And then this is one of my favorites. I like their mists. Um, I use this one, and then there's also a vitamin C, like a wake-up spray that I brush my teeth, put my contacts in, and then I just give my face a little spray, go downstairs, get the kids ready with their breakfast and stuff like that for school, and then when I come upstairs, I do my regular routine for uh, makeup. But um, the sprays are so refreshing, and they're great also to keep in your bag. This one gives you like a little bit of a glow, a little bit of a shimmer, but um, they have other ones. They have ones that are more milk-based, so it's really hydrating, but this one is a great one as well. Okay, so next up, one of my great, one of my friends from, wow, I think before I had my oldest, I don't remember, I worked at a home builder, and my friend Jill and I kept in touch on Facebook, the wonders of Facebook, and she had introduced me just recently to Arbonne. Um, I had never heard of it, so she sent me a packet of little goodies, and I wanted to focus on, and I'm going to write a post about this later because I haven't tried it yet, but she was explaining to me some of the great health products that they have. Um, the chocolate protein shake, she said, is delicious, and I'm always looking for something that um, I can have in the morning that's quick and that has everything that's a dietary supplement that has everything that I need. Let's see, how much protein does this have? 20 grams of protein. And it's chocolate. It's got to be good. And she said it doesn't taste like a protein shake. Because that's my biggest thing is I don't, I don't want to taste the protein shake, but I want to try it. Okay. She also has um, these fizz packets, which I want to try. Let's see how they are. This one is for mind and health. And you just add this to water. Shake it up. And check it out. And then there was another one in here that she definitely wanted me to try. It's right here. This is the um, energy fizz stick. So instead of coffee or soda or Red Bull, you pop this into a bottle of water and it gives you the energy that you need for the day, which is kind of great because yeah, eight ounces of water and start. Don't pour into a full water bottle. Oh, the fizzing can cause an explosion. Yeah, so don't. I remember her telling me that too. So I'm going to be trying these. The end of this week. I've been wanting to try this protein shake for a while, so no time like the present. And then, last but not least, is a Zara purchase that I got. I wanted to show you guys before I, uh, I haven't even tried it on yet. It's been sitting in the box for like two days. Um, as you have seen, I love Zara. There's just something about their clothing. It's very fashion forward. It's not expensive. Um, I love the colors. Fabrics are pretty great. It's Sometimes it's hit or miss, but for the most part, I walk out with a nice bag of stuff. But the closest one is Aventura, so I order a lot online. And if you order over $50, you get free shipping. So, so I saw these earrings, and I'm, my new thing is like long earrings. These are really long, so I don't know if I'm going to wear them, and also if they're super heavy. I don't think they are, but they're beautiful. They're beaded. Um, I love the color combination. Maybe you'll see me in them one night. I like them a lot, and I think they would look good. Now that my hair is getting long. But um, they're a little bit large, so I have to see. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. And last but not least is this super fabulous floral tank with the bow in the center. It's smocked in the back. Very forgiving, because it's flowy. Um, I haven't tried this on yet, but I think this is probably the perfect summertime fabric and blend. So I'll tell you how this goes. But um, other than that, that was a lot actually. I'm surprised I had that much to, uh, to show. So I talked about my Macy's Beauty Box, what Color Science sent over to me, Pixie Beauty, the Gel Moments Gel Manicure Set that you could do at home, which I am super excited to try out. Um, and then, my pixie and my Zara purchase and my super cute straw Target tote bag that I'll probably use this weekend. So I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, we are going live for Silver Moms on the Go on Friday at twelve. We're going to be talking about what that will keep what will keep you sane with all of this rain. So some fun, cool, creative things to do. And we're also crafting a rainy day cocktail. So don't forget to tune into Silver Moms on the Go Friday at twelve. 
and I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining in.